Chordates have similar features within their general structures. The notochord, which is a long rod located above the gut and below the nerve cord, is present in all chordates. Some of them eventually replace the notochord by a vertebral column, but others will remain with it their entire life. Another feature is the dorsal nerve, which is a hollow tube that in most differentiates into a brain anterior and a spinal cord posterior. Another feature is the gills, which are located behind the mouth and in front of the esophagus. But with evolution, these gills in some organisms came to function as jaws or jaw supports. All of the organisms that form chordata have segmented ex except for the tunicates and have post-anal tails, but some of us outgrow it. Diet. Most reptiles are carnivores, like crocodiles, that feed on small invertebrates, mammals, and other reptiles. A few reptiles are herbivores, such as iguanas, that feed on plants. Amphibians are all carnivores. Frog and toad's diet consists of many types of insects. Salamanders prey mostly on worms and bigger insects, whereas calcillians eat worms and insect larvae. Mammals are more herbivores than carnivores. Carnivores. Some examples of herbivores are cows, whereas dogs and lions are some examples of carnivores. Birds diet are varied and often include nectar, food, and plants. Um, fish eat a wide variety of food, including plants and other organisms. Finally, tunicates feed by filtering small organic particles, including plankton and bacteria from seawater. Most animals' life cycles, including fish, mammals, reptiles, and birds, have very simple life cycles. They are born and then grow up, adding up to three stages, before birth, young, and adult. The young are typically small, similar to the parents, but smaller, which will slowly grow to become adults. Amphibians undergo a metamorphosis. They are born and then spend their childhood underwater, breathing with gills, but when they grow into adults, they move to land, breathing with lungs. Finally, tunicates. Tunicates' live life cycle begins with embryonic development until a larva is formed. The larva state of tunicates is very short lived. Larva then attach to a suitable location. This signals the larva to begin with its metamorphosis. In this stage, tunicates will grow in size. A sexual reproduction takes place in tunicates and in some vertebrates. Hermaphroditism is found in tunicates and some fishes, but otherwise the sexes are separate. All of the other organisms in Cordata reproduce sexually, except for some of them who are asexual and hermaphrodites. Movement. Reptiles move by crawling, except turtles, that use their feet to walk. Amphibians, like frogs, get around by hopping or jumping, except caecilians, that get around by slithering like a snake. Most animals walk around and run on all four legs, such as horses and lions. Breast locomotion is mostly flying. Uh, some can run very well like ostriches, and others swim like penguins. The prevailing type of fish locomotion is swimming in water. Finally, tunicates can move by attaching with one area of the body and letting go with another. All chordates respond to stimuli with their nervous system. It coordinates rapid responses to external stimuli. Some organisms have a second control system, which is the endocrine system. The endocrine system controls slower, longer-lasting responses to internal stimuli. Not all organisms have specialized nervous systems, and those with simple systems tend to be very small and mobile, or large and immobile. Large animals who are mobile tend to develop a more complex nervous system. In radial symmetry, organisms lack a brain, and one part of the nervous system, so they have nerve nets that control some complex behaviors. 
Chordates have a dorsal rather than a ventral nervous system. They tend to elaborate nervous systems and the system being divided into a number of parts. There is a motor neuron in this system that is in charge of all somatic and autonomic responses to stimuli. Some examples of organisms. Reptiles, lizard, turtle, alligator, and crocodile. Some examples of amphibians are frogs, salamanders, and caecilians. Elephant, cow, kangaroo, dolphin, and rabbit are some examples of mammals. Birds can be penguins, ostriches, parrots, and ducks. Fishes like salmon, shark, and trout. And finally, tunicates, sea skirt, sea tulips, and bluebird tunicate.